to today's episode. So today we are looking at question 10 from the 2021 GCE Mathematics Paper 2. And question 10 is from linear programming, one of the easiest questions in an exam. This question is always there. So if you understand the principles, this question is a guaranteed. It's a question that I would encourage you to always select. And this question is always in section B. So the question leads, answer the O of this question on a sheet of graph paper. A businessman orders two types of vehicles, namely a sedans and vans for sale. He orders at least 60 sedans and at least 20 vans. He orders not more than 180 vehicles altogether. He makes sure that the number of vans ordered are not more than the number of sedans ordered. Given that X represents the number of uh, sedans, so let us say X is equal to uh, the number of sedans, then Y the number of vans. Write for inequalities which satisfy the above conditions. So let us lead through this slow by slow as we derive the four inequalities. You will see that it's much more easier. So a businessman orders two types of vehicles. So these are two types of vehicles for sale. He orders a 60 60 sale sedans. So what we know is number one. The number of X should be, be at least. So at least means that's the minimum. That's the starting point. So we have uh, X is at least. So X is greater or equal to 60. Okay, X is greater or equal to 60. That's what it means. Greater or equal to 60. Well, that's what DC uh, at least 60 means. Then at least 20 vans. So number two, we know that the vans should be at least. So y should be at least 20, meaning 20 is a minimum. It can't go below 20. 20 is the last number, minimum. Then he orders altogether 180 vehicles. So number three, if you add x, which is sedans plus y, which is vans, this should not be more than. 180. So maximum you can buy is 180. That's why we are saying he buys, he orders not more than 180 altogether. So unless if the question said he orders less than, then it was going to be x plus y should be strict less than 180. But not more than means again 80 is 180 is the gap. We say cap. We say maximum. Okay. So anything below that is okay. Then, last, lastly, it makes sure that the number of vans ordered are not more than the number of uh, sale sedans. So, X is the number of sedans should always be greater than what eh? the number of vans. That's what that implies. So, what that implies is a uh, basic number four Y is less or equal to X. Because the number of sedans should be always greater than the number of vans. Because vans should not be more than. So the maximum that they can be is when their two are equal. So these are the three inequalities that we need to do here to get the free four max. Let us move to B. Using a scale of 2 cm to represent 20 vehicles on each axis, draw x and y x-axis. From 0 to 180 and shade the unwanted region to show clearly the region where the resolution of the inequalities must lie. So we have these four inequalities that we would want to, to plot. So these are the four inequalities that we are interested in. We've seen these. So we need to plot them. So now the first one is x should be uh, greater than e. 60. So when you come to the graph, you've already uh, labeled the graph to ensure that you know you don't waste so much time. So what it means is when they say 2 cm, so 2 cm to represent 20 units. So from here to here is 2, two cm. That's the standard graph paper that we expected to be given. Then, so this is what you do. Then from here, you need to start plotting. 
remember our first inequalities inequalities uh, x should be greater or equal to 60 so go to x then look for 60 so 60 is here then we are going to draw a straight line here this see this straight line so this straight straight line but it should be greater so the, the unwanted region is below want x to be always greater or equal to 60 this is the unwanted region okay that's the first one so this is equation one then equation two we said uh, y should be greater or equal to 20 because he chooses to order at least 20 vans so 20 van 20 vans is the case so 20 vans are on the y-axis so this is the 20 vans so we come here and draw this line which is equation 2, equal inequality 2. Okay, we can label them nicely, but because of space, I will not label them on the graph. I'll just be labeling them by the number. So we have that as the unwanted region. Then number three, we know that when we add uh, in total, these should not be more than 180 in total. Should not be more than 180 that's what the inequality that we found here seen this inequality that's what it implies then so what it means is when x is zero y becomes 180 so we are here you see we are here similarly when y is zero x becomes the maximum 180 so what it means is if this businessman decides not to buy any vans any van type of a vehicle he has to he can spend all the money on uh sedans and this will give you a maximum of 180. similarly if you spend all the money on vans and zero on 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 uh, uh sedans you would be at 180 there then we just have to get our lula then we get our lula and join this line see this line you join it straight with our lula so I'm just using uh, sketching. So if you allow, we do like that. So that's an unwanted region. Why is it an unwanted region? Because if you get zero comma zero and put two zero there, it will be less than one eight, which is correct. But if I come and get the number here, one eight comma one eight, there is no way. So the region to the upper top is uh, unwanted, and this is uh, inequality three. Then we go to the last one. What we are saying y should be less or equal to x this is inequality four so what it means is uh ideally this is the same as y is equal to x so y is equal to uh, the x is this point so you've seen these points that are passing here so if you join here let me use the black one if you join here these uh, at this point they are equal throughout you see they are equal but y should be less than x so the point where y would be less than x is below so if i get a point here 60 comma 0 we are going to have 0 y then x is 60. so this the all the points below are what we want if i picked a point here 100 60, uh, 0 comma 60 y will be 60 then x 60 then this will not make sense so this is the top part is the unwanted region you see this one so this is what we shared and this gives us inequality four so these are the four inequalities then we would have uh, gotten the other four marks let's see 80 marks so we have the region in between us they wanted the region they wanted the region then c goes on to ask us if the profit on the sale of a, a, a sedan is 10 and that on each van is uh, 12,000 so when you sell a sedan you get a 10,000 kwacha when you sell a van you get a 12,000 kwacha how many of each type should do be should he order to make maximum profit then find this maximum profit this question is always there this question finding the maximum profit is always there let me just get space here so that I use the same uh, small space so what you need to bear in mind is the possible points the possible points for solutions are these extreme points on it these this extreme point 
at this extreme point and this extreme point. But since it's profit, we want to be as far away from the origin. So we only have this point, maybe this point here and this point. So let us write the profit function. The profit function is so for every um for every uh suddenly sells it makes a 10 so just 10,000 okay so 10,000 x plus for every one is 12,000 in profit of y okay like that then let us say for example at uh, the first point we shall call this point which is the furthest here we have one 160 okay 160 in advance so it's 10,000 multiplied by 160 plus basically you come here is 20 so you have 12,000 multiplied by 20 when we add this what we end up with is basically well uh, basically what we end up is uh, 1 million 1.8 number the two zero so it will be 1.8 um, for million so one million eight hundred and forty thousand kwacha that will be uh the profit so that's at point this one if you come at this point we've seen this point this point so this point is we have 60 comma 120 as the, the other point the potential so profit will be basically ten thousand times what is x so x is 120 plus uh we have uh 12 so then, then we get basically uh, what is y is 60. Okay, this is basically a 1.2. Okay, plus uh, if you do uh, 12 times 6, so 12 times 6 is much more straightforward. 12 times 6. We are getting a uh, seven, okay? So seven twenty thousand. So we get one point plus seven twenty. We are getting a one point nine twenty. So one point nine two. So one million nine hundred and twenty, which is higher than that. Okay, then what we do is we look at this point compared to the third point. So th the third point there, what you see here is we have uh, basically uh, this is of 90 comma 90. So this at that point we have profit is equal to. So we are going to have 10 multiplied by 90. Okay, plus uh, so I'm taking out thousands for now so that I'm quicker. 12 multiplied by 90. So what we get is basically we have 900 plus uh, which is 12 times 90. We get uh, uh, 1,080,000 then plus the 900. So we are getting basically here uh, 1.980 million so one million nine hundred and eighty thousand kwacha and if you see this one this is the highest it's the highest it's more than this one so at this point we are getting the maximum profit when we buy equal number 90 uh sudden 90 vans we get this maximum profit then what's the maximum profit is one million nine hundred and eighty thousand kwacha and it happens where where does it occur it occurs at this point so this is how you answer this kind of a question to get the maximum 12 point thank you for joining me on this episode please join me on episode 11 as i'll be answering that question